Hey, Drip Zero here, and I'm gonna take a look at this Vivo Sun Grow Tent. It's a, if you saw my corner, um, Grow Corner, before it uh, it wasn't pretty. It was pretty sorry looking. So I got this tent. Um, it helps uh, keep the light out of the room so I can sleep. Um, so I don't have to have uh, my grow lights respect my sleeping period. Um, and uh, it helps also capture the light because inside is really bright. It's got this mylar coating inside, really reflective. As you can see, I am totally purpling it out over here. So let's open it up and I'll show you what's in, what I've got going on inside. Whoa, sometimes the lights go crazy. And that's because um, they're actually, um, this is my RGB matrix panel. Um, I was going to do a build video of this, but anyway, each individual light is controllable, um, the color. So they've got each individual pixel Per, um, which are the little dots you can see, are um, have three diodes in them, uh, one red, green, and blue. And right now I'm just full bla boring, full blast uh, red and blue. And there's a little bit of noise in this power supply, and I'm driving it very hot. That's this guy right here. So 5 volts, 10 amps. I should get the 5 volt, 15 amp, because I think I'm maxing it out. Um, and it could be why when I put this thing on white, it's not very bright. You would, I would expect it to light up the whole room, but it doesn't. So I may be underpowering it, and that's why. Um, here is my tomatoes that I planted. And they have just started to um, get their true leaves on them. So they're doing really well. This is a spinach. Uh, right now my... I've got these lights on 24-7. I did have it on a schedule. I might resume the schedule because I don't want this spinach to bolt. And they're very photosensitive, unlike the tomatoes are not photosensitive. Now, what if one thing I've noticed is with just this panel, I will get... i got to be careful not to bump it so the lights don't freak out. Um, the With just the panel the plants will actually lean towards the panel quite obviously but as you can see right now they're straight up the reason for that i believe is the addition of this guy it's a 20 watt and it's actually 20 watts it's not 20 rated watts this is actually 20 watts on the dot um UVA about 400 nanometers and that's what's keeping these guys straight up the reason why I added UVA is because in my experience unless I've got a really high power LED which I don't um, the tomatoes will be very weak have a hard time staying up once they get to a certain height and they'll start to collapse so to um, aid, give them a little bit of stress so that they grow stronger, I've added the UVA light. Don't open. So far, it's been okay. Um, so um, I will keep you updated on how well it goes. Uh, again, the greenhouse is uh, being remodeled. A little bit or refactored I suppose you could say um, but overall I think uh, we'll, we'll have it ready by the time these tomatoes are ready uh, hopefully by next month we'll see but uh, another thing about these they have little uh, spots for vents or stuff for wires to come in um, and pretty decent hangers for lights um, I've been I've got this uh, zip tied so I'm um, pretty impressed overall with the quality of this guy. Again, this is Vivo Sun. It was about, what, 50, 60 bucks on Amazon. So, and they have, def they have taller versions. These are metal 
ooh, if I touch the metal, it makes the lights freak out. So, yeah, definitely some noisy power supply going on. Um, but pretty good overall, some pockets for things. And uh, we'll keep you updated on the progress of these. So, that's all for now. Trib Zero out.